Okay, okay, fine, let's make a positive Detroit Red Wings video following up the conversation we had about an hour ago talking about Steve Eiserman and whether or not he should get fired. The Wings earlier today made themselves a signing. Take a look at this, it is Emmett Finney. He has been signed to a three-year entry-level contract beginning with the 2024-2025 season. Finney will report to the AHL's Grand Rapids Griffins on an ATO for the remainder of 23-24. Now, the thing is, when it comes to Emmett Finney, this is a really low-key signing. It's not really the biggest deal in the world, but there are some good things to be looking at when talking about this player and his profile. Emmett Finney was initially a Detroit Red Wings draft pick back in the seventh round of the 2023 draft, 201st overall. He's 18 years old, 6'1", 183, left-handed forward, and the fact that a seventh round pick is even getting an NHL contract a year after the draft, that in itself is very impressive. Now, I have to remind you that when it comes to the contract itself, it doesn't begin until 2024-2025, which means that the ELC that he's signed goes on till 2026-2027, and then it'll probably extend a little bit more depending on how long Finney stays in the WHL. For now, though, because his WHL season with the Kamloops Blazers is over, he is eligible to play with the Grand Rapids Griffins, which is why he's going to be there on an amateur tryout. Now, when it comes to Finney and his Blazers production, he was pretty solid. 59 points in 62 games played. I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. That's not a point-per-game player. It's just underneath. Also, he was a minus 25. What the heck is up with that? And then when you look at the Kamloops Blazers themselves and you see, oh yeah, he was like one of the only guys that was producing any meaningful points. Yeah, this team is not great, and Emmett Finney was the best player on it. If you go over to the WHL and see their standings for 2023-2024, you won't be too pleased to see where the Kamloops Blazers finished fifth place in the Western Conference BC Division. And if you take a look at the points, I mean, they had 46 points. Let's go over to total points right here. Yeah, they were literally last in the league. So... Kamloops was the worst team in the WHL, Emmett Finney was the best player on the worst team, and now he has signed a contract with the Red Wings as well as an ATO to play with the Grand Rapids Griffins. Now when it comes to how Finney plays, this is where you're going to get into some of the more positive aspects because Red Wings prospects went out there and had a really good summary on Emmett Finney just a few days ago. Take a look at this. Seventh round 2023 pick wrap up. 18 years old, 6'1, 183, left wing center. He had 40 assists and 19 goals in 62 games played. Kamloops finished last in the WHL. Finney is a non stop engine. He enters every battle with a shoulder, and he's a good skater. He's always in the right place at the right time. He's got a great shot, and he's a good passer. Scrolling down here, there are a few highlights of specific goals and everything. I'm not going to play this because it's copyrighted material, but he's got explosiveness that he uses to beat guys wide, and he's able to use his great shot as well. And if you scroll down into this thread, there are a lot of goal highlights of Emmett Finney. He's got really interesting skills and a solid motor. So realistically, when you talk about guys who haven't been given much, especially when you consider their team, how good their teammates are, the status of their position in the league, I mean, the Kamloops Blazers didn't really have much to play for. So when it comes to Emmett Finney, there's a lot to look forward to here when he's given a better role and he is on a better team. Let's go out there and read what some Wings fans are talking about in regards to this guy. He's been one of my favorites to watch this year. This is probably the one prospect I'm most curious about. He was the best player on a garbage team, and I really want to know how it looked like playing for a team like the Griffins. Don't forget, he was pretty good last year after playing for one of the best teams in the WHL. The kid can flat out play, up and down the lineup and the different roles. He's a hard worker playing 200-foot hockey. It was derailed a little earlier in the season with an injury, but he was a leader for most of the year. He doesn't take many days off. Now, when it comes to Finney and last year, I get you could say that he had 35 points in 64 games played. You could say the production wasn't really that good. But when you look at the Kamloops Blazers last season, I mean, they had so many amazing guys. Stankoven, Seminov, Fraser Minton, Kyle Masters. They had an incredible personnel of guys. And this is normally what you see with CHL Junior League teams where they'll load up, absolutely stack themselves for one WHL championship run and a Memorial Cup run. 
but then the next few years they will be some of the worst teams in hockey. Like, this team was so good. Top score, 97 points. Second score, 85 points, 82 points, 67, 67, 65, 61. They had, what is that, seven 60-point guys? But this season, they didn't even have one. So that's the turnover. You see guys come and go. Then you'll see these teams like Kamloops get super high picks in the WHL draft, and they'll get good again, and then they'll make all these trades to get a lot of solid players by the time 2027 rolls around and they'll be contending for the Memorial Cup again. That's the cycle of CHL, WHL teams. And Emmett Finney happened to be thrusted right into that as a solid enough player last year with a stacked team and the best player on a really bad team a year later. So this is a very, very interesting prospect profile and one that heading over to the Grand Rapids Griffins, whom, as we have said, have been doing pretty well, it's going to be interesting because... Look, you talk about some of the other guys that have just been added on. Jonathan Berggren got sent back to Grand Rapids yesterday. That's a pretty good addition. Who knows if he's, like, happy or whatever. He's probably not. Like, we all recognize that Jonathan Berggren's time with the Wings may be coming to an end. But adding on another depth piece like Finney to a team that's already had some pretty good success the past few months here, that's going to be awesome to see, especially if Finney's able to really bolster up his game after what was a really bad team performance in 23-24 from the Blazers. Of course, next year you hope that Kamloops is going to look a little bit better. If you check out who is probably going to come back for this team, there are some names, not too many like extremely notable ones, but I mean, if you go over here, roster, and then we sort by age. So there are a bunch of guys that are probably going to get a little bit better. They're a young team, so we'll see what happens. I mean, they only have four overage players that are here, so a lot of these guys will be eligible to return. Who knows, maybe the Blazers are going to be a lot better sooner. There's a lot of opportunity here for these young Blazers. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Detroit Red Wings giving Emmett Finney an entry-level contract that will start next year, but for now he has an ATO, which will allow him to play with the Grand Rapids Griffins. Now, before we end off this video, I wanted to talk about a few more things that were discussed on the Red Wings subreddit. Here's a comment made from Xfosh that highlights the status of the Blazers and just how crazy his transformation really was. Finney went from being a third-line grinder with limited offensive production on a stacked Kamloops team featuring guys like Stankovin and Seminoff to being the best player on a terrible team. However, said team did see guys like Barros and Levis take a step back, so for Finney to produce the way he did in spite of his teammates is a testament to the progress that he has made. There also is a conversation asking whether or not he'll actually get any Grand Rapids games or if they'll just practice. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see where he fits into the lineup, right? Likewise, I'm a bit curious to see what this means for a guy like Valeno longer term. Seems like with how we've deployed and called up Zarnik, we may not see Valeno as a center long term, at least not one sufficient enough to block others in the system from their chances. Finney deserves what he's earning, and I also think this in part speaks to just how weak we are at setup with centers in the organization. So, what are your thoughts on the Griffins getting this guy, as well as Jonathan Berggren, I guess you could say, and how this helps out their postseason bids, and when it comes to Finney heading into the next year's worth of Blazers hockey, what are your expectations for him? Thoughts in the comment section below about this new Red Wing signee. I hope you enjoyed this British Astros 99. And... Bye.